Hey guys, welcome to this week's OMG Tuesday. We are trying out a crazy mask that is gonna get rid of whiteheads, blackheads. It's going to exfoliate. It is called the Hell Pour. Uh, the packaging on this is really interesting. It actually shows uh, what I think they are saying are your clogged pores, really sad and upset, and there is an angry pig. This is by Milky Piggy, and I shared this with you guys when I tried out the bubble mask, which was absolutely terrifying. Let's all remember that for a moment and then try to forget it. This one I showed you guys and you're like, yeah, try it out, try it out. Mm, I just never got around to it. I don't know, it kind of intimidated me. This is supposed to be a really intense mask to clear out your pores. It's basically like a giant pore strip for your entire face. You wait till this dries, you peel it off, and you're gonna see dead skin. You're gonna see whatever junk is clogging your pores, which I personally think is disgusting. But you know, at the same time, like you don't want that on your face clogging, like you don't want clogged pores on your face, so you may as well get them out somehow. And I'm just, I'm at a point where I'm like, hey, why not? Let's sit down and try this out. We're just gonna get straight to it. I have never put this on my face before. I haven't even opened the package up. So we are doing this together. There are no instructions in here. This is what the tube looks like. You do not get much English on here aside from the Hell Pour Cleanup Mask. That is, of course, English. The back is not. But there are some English instructions on the side and it says the Hell Pore Cleanup Mask is a perfect product to clean pores and remove impurities. It says that it contains licensed fermentation ingredients. I don't know what that is. Does anyone know what that is? If you know what that is, put it in the comments below. Licensed fermentation products? I don't know, that sounds really serious. It has some warnings. Um, it says don't feed this to infants. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna go in brand new bottle right here. See, never have I used this. It smells exactly like a can of hairspray that smells like hairspray and not like a floral scent. Do you know what I'm saying? My skin is completely clean. I don't have any serums or moisturizers or anything else going on, but all of my makeup is off. I woke up like this, really. It's not that impressive. Ooh, hairspray. Hairspray. You are not supposed to use a very thick layer. So I am just going to coat my face with the hell pore. I am specifically wanting this to do its magic on my nose. Because I've been trying out so many different foundations lately that I just feel like my skin could use a good cleaning. So this is a peel off mask. It is important. Why am I going on that side again? This is a peel off mask. It is super important to put an even layer and kind of connect everything because you want it to all peel off together. It feels really nice. It feels very gel-like. I'm going to try to not get this around my lips. I had a really bad situation happen the other day. I was sitting down. I did not think that I was gonna do Hell Pour for this week's OMG Tuesday. I had ordered a different weird product having to do with the lips, spoiler alert. It did not go so well. Uh, part of the ingredients were expired. I have to reorder it. Long story short, my lips are so chapped. Oh my God. Be careful. I have done this in the past with peel off masks. Be careful to not get your baby hairs because that's really painful, really, really painful. It says to wait until this is completely dry. That is super important because you want this to harden and you wanna be peeling this upward and off, cleaning out your pores. So definitely wait till this is fully dried, 15 to 20 minutes. So it is 12.30 right now and I'm going to check back in with you guys in exactly 20 minutes and we will see if the hell pour is painful to take off and if it did a good job. Hell pour. Doesn't that sound like some kind of infomercial item? Like really intense, like, are your pores getting you down? You need the hell pour. I'm gonna go now, I'm just gonna stop. Mask dance, so let's dance. All right guys, it's now 12.51. I officially can't really talk, which means this mask has dried and is ready to be peeled off my face. Ew. Oh my God, so gross. Um, It feels really, really tight. 
and it feels like it might be painful to take off. Oh, God. Mm. <laughs> um, you are supposed to peel upward. Make sure you're not just peeling strips here, there, everywhere. You want to peel upward so that it really cleans out your pores. I'm going to go slow with this because I want to try and peel this all off as much together as I can. Ow. Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh my God, I've never used a peel off mask that actually feels like it's ripping my hairs off. Hell pour. Also waxes your face. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not, a, I'm not even joking or being a drama queen, I promise. It's like I put Biore all over my, like a Biore strip. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, I'm like having to take breaks. Ugh. <laughs> I can't do this. Why is this so painful for me? I don't understand. No. Jeez. God. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Ew. Do not eat the contents, especially infants, in case there is something wrong in it. Can you see how like red my face is from that? I am not making this up right now. That's disgusting. I don't know that I want to do like the close up where you guys can see like everything that came out of my pores, but there's a decent amount. I don't know that I would be like really down to do this again because that actually was super freaking painful. My skin looks really clear though. Dude, I don't even have like the most sensitive skin in the universe, but like what the heck? Oh my God, I have mask on my boob. <laughs> this is stinging everywhere. Like I can kind of feel a pulse in my face. Like my face is going. <laughs> Does this gross anyone else out? Because I see videos where people are like, look. And to me, I'm just like, I can't. I had to take a pause and go slather on a hydrating gel mask because my skin was on fire and tingling way too much. I'm a little bit concerned that I have irritated my skin enough to cause kind of maybe a breakout or a problem. Sometimes that happens with me. So I'm a little bit like, why did I do this? Um, but if you have super oily skin with very clogged pores and you need a mask like this, boy oh boy, did it really work? This is the most intense peel off mask I have ever used. Usually they do not hurt me whatsoever. This really like crinkled, kind of like when glue dries on your hand. You know when you were a kid and you like would let glue dry on your hand, you peel it off. I know I'm not the only freaking one out there that did that, but it feels literally like hardened glue is like being peeled off of your skin and it's getting every hair and everything in your pores and it's just kind of painful. So this is where I'm at now. I'm gonna soak this mask on my face until everything calms down a little bit. Yeah, I guess that's why they call it hell mask because they mean business. It is no joke. It is not for sensitive skin and it is not for the meek and tame. It is for the wild. Um, this was the craziest mask I think I've ever used. So that being said, I will always try anything here on my channel that you guys want to see. So make sure always that you keep the requests coming. You can reach me on Twitter, on Snapchat, on Instagram, Facebook. I'm kind of everywhere. All of those links are below in the description box. Let me know what I should try next. It can be a hair tool, a skin tool, a skincare, hair item, makeup, whatever. I'll try anything clearly. I love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Be sure to come back tomorrow because I am trying out such a crazy item. I have been waiting three months to do this video. Come back tomorrow um, because it's gonna be so good. Anyway, I love you, have a good one, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.